Hello everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. Hope everybody is doing great today. Sunday, December 31st. Happy New Year's Eve everyone. Hope you have a great time. Yep, it's already another year. Um, so anyway, uh, there will be a, let's uh, see, currently, I'll go over the weather. Sometimes I forget that. Uh, Sunday, December 31st, currently it's 34 degrees. High today is going to be 47, a little cooler than it has been. Uh, no chance of rain or whatever. And winds are at 5 mile per hour right now. Okay. Um, and today there'll be a taste test with Mike. I tried one of those. Uh, I've actually had them for a while. I need to, to get on with trying them. Uh, different kinds I've got. Uh, it was the... Uh, I tried the Lean Cuisine Balance Bowls. The ones that are approved by the American Diabetes Association. And uh, it's Tex-Mex rice and black beans. So check that out today. It's been a while since I've done one with that. I did, I've got some tuna, different tuna pouches I need to try too. Um, okay, what's for dinner? Uh, I'm going to fix some chicken wings in the uh, crock pot. And season them and stuff and then put some uh, barbecue sauce I put some at the first, and then when they're right before they're done, I'll put some more on it. And then uh, they're just really great that way. And we'll have some fries, probably, and some coleslaw if it's still good. It should be. I put some in the um, that uh, General Ch Tang's, Chang's chicken or whatever it was we had the other day. It was good. I put some of it in that. Uh, that's a good thing to use if you need some little more vegetables with stir fry. If you've got some coleslaw mix, just throw some of that in your stir fry. It's always good. Okay, I, they actually didn't have a jokes of the day today. They didn't have it in the, uh, I didn't get it in the email. I don't know if it's because it's the last day of the year or I don't know what. But they always have it on there each day. So they didn't. So I'm going to go right into... Uh, trivia time, everybody. The show must go on. And this one uh, says, <coughs> uh, Who stars as James Bond in the classic 1964 film Goldfinger? Uh, Roger Moore, Pierce Brosnan, David Niven, Sean Connery. Okay, let me get it to go to the... Okay, uh, Roger Moore, David Niven, Pierce Brosnan, and Sean Connery. Was David Niven? I don't remember David Niven being uh, one of the 007s. I'm going to say Sean Connery, everybody. Yes. Goldfinger is a 1964 spy film and the third installment in the James Bond series produced by Ian Productions, starring... Sean Connery as a fictional M-16 agent James Bond. It's based on the 1959 novel by the same name by Ian Fleming. <coughs> My throat's a little rough today. Um, in what classic film did actor Humphrey Bogart play a zombie? Wow, The Petrified Forest, The Return of Dr. X, <coughs> the African Queen, Dead End. Humphrey Bogart playing a zombie? I don't know. Uh, I can't think. Of, I, I guess the only one I can really think of that's even one of his movies here is The African Queen. No, it wasn't that. It was The Return of Dr. X. Now, I never knew this. The Return of Dr. X is a 1939 American science fiction horror film directed by Vincent Sherman and starring Wayne Morris, Rosemary Lane, and Humphrey Bogart as a title character. Hmm. So, uh, just supposedly being a sequel to Dr. X, also produced by Warner Brothers. The films are unrelated. 
This was Bogart's only science fiction or horror film. <laughs> okay. No wonder I've never seen it. Uh, Dark Side of the Moon is a classic album by which band? Pink Floyd, The Who, Led Zeppelin, The Eagles. I, I definitely know this. Uh, and it's Pink Floyd. Yep. Uh, Dark Side of the Moon is Pink Floyd's eternally popular song cycle, which has sold more than 15 million copies in the U.S. since its release on March 1st, 1973, and more than 45 million units worldwide. Wow. That is awesome. The Banks family is featured in which classic novel? Little Women, The, the Hundred and One Dalmatians, Mary, Pop Mary Poppins, To Kill a Mockingbird. The Banks family. I don't think it's, it's the Dalmatians. And I, I don't remember. I mean, I've seen Mary Poppins, but I was, you know, like little. I can't remember much about that. Uh, I'm going to go with Little Women. Nope. It's Mary Poppins. Mary, Pop Mary Poppins is a series of eight children's books written by Australian British writer P.L. Travers and published over the period 1934 to 1988. Wow. Let me see. The book center on the magical English nanny Mary Poppins. Pop I can't hardly say it, Popkins, uh, who is blown by the east wind to number 17 Cherry Street Tree Lane, London, and into the bank's household to care for their children. Huh. Who directed the 1982 sci-fi classic Blade Runner? Steven Spielberg, Ridley Scott, Martin Scorsese, Clint Eastwood, I don't think it was Clint Eastwood. Actually, I think, um, <coughs> you know, that this movie was like a flop when it first came out, and now it's really done well over the years. Uh, they've got a second one, but it's not really the same. Uh, I want to say Steven Spielberg. Nope, I'm not doing too great. <laughs> Ridley Scott, I've never heard of him, though. Blade Runner is a 1982 science fiction film directed by Ridley Scott and written by Hampton Fancher and David Peoples, starring Harrison Ford, Rutger Hauer, Sean Young, and Edward James Olmos. Hmm, okay. Who directed and starred in the classic comedy The Great Dictator? Bing Crosby, Charlie Chaplin, Bob Hope, Lou Costello. Wow. Um, in the classic comedy. Uh, I, th I think it's Charlie Chaplin myself. Might be wrong. Oh, I'm right this time. The Great Dictator is an American comedy film released in 1940 that Charlie Chaplin both acted in and directed. Well, I didn't know that. He directed it, satirizing Adolf Hitler and Nazism and condemning anti-Semitism. It was Chaplin's most successful film at the box office. Hmm. Who stars in the 1941 American classic Citizen Kane? Orson Welles, Jimmy Stewart, Clark Gable, Alfred Hitchcock. I think I know this. <clears throat> I think it's Orson Welles. Yes. Citizen Kane is an American film drama released in 1941 that was directed, produced, and co-written by Orson Welles, who also starred in the, in the lead role. Citizen Kane is acclaimed by many crit uh, critics as the greatest movie ever made. Hmm. Four right and three wrong. Ted Danson ran a Boston bar in which classic comedy? 
30 Rock, Arrested Development, Cheers, Fight of the Concords, Flight of the Con Concords, Flight of the Concords. I guess that's how it's spelled. I mean, C O N C H O R D S. Anyway, it's Cheers. That's right. Cheers is an American sitcom television series that ran on NBC from September 30, 1982 to May 20, 1993. Wow, that was quite a long while. With a total of 275 half-hour episodes across 11 seasons. <coughs> okay, five right and three wrong. Who directed the 1939 American classic film The Wizard of Oz? And I'm not for sure about this. Uh... William A. Wellman, Edmund Goulding, Leo McCary, Victor Fleming. I'm not for sure. But it seems like I have heard the name Victor Fleming, uh, maybe in relation to that. Yep. The Wizard of Oz is a 1939 American musical fantasy film produced by Metro Golden. Goldwyn Mayer, an adaptation of L. Frank Baum's 1900 children fantasy novel, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Okay, six right and three wrong. Got one more. Which of these classic Western movies starred Steve McQueen? Django, The Wild Bunch, The Magnificent, Se Magnificent Seven, and Tombstone. I think I know this. I've watched a lot of uh, Western movies. I think it's The Wild Bunch. No, it's wrong. It's The Magnificent Seven. Okay, The Magnificent Seven. I don't remember him being in that one. I'm sure I've seen it, though. The uh, Magnificent Seven is a 1960 American Western film directed by John Sturgis. The screenplay credited to William Roberts is a remake in an old style, old west style of Akira Kurosawa's 1954 Japanese film. Uh, originally, uh, initially released, released in the United States as The Magnificent Seven. Okay, okay, Yul Brenner, Steve McQueen, Charles Bronson, Robert Vaughn, Brad Dexter, James Coburn, and Horst. Booch Holtz. Hmm. Okay, that's a lot of big stars in there, though. So anyway, so I got uh, six right and four wrong today. Not too awful bad. These were kind of, you know, way back in the day, some of them. So it's, it's hard to remember some of that stuff. So, or if I ever, I didn't know about this Magnificent Seven. I really thought it was the other one. But now I'd like to see who was in the Wild Bunch. So, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this morning's coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day and a happy new year. And we'll see you next year. Bye, everyone, and God bless.